गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन माय सेल्फ गणेश चंद्र भट्टो फैकल्टी आईएचएम कोलकाता टुडे वी विल डिस्कस कैपिटल बजेटिंग पार्ट टू द स्कोप ऑफ द लेसन कवर्स द मेथड्स दैट आर ट्रेडिशनल मेथड्स ऑफ कैपिटल बजेटिंग लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स by the end of this session the learner will be able to understand the various traditional methods of evaluating and ranking the capital investment proposals calculate the payback period and average rate of return of a project under consideration methods or techniques of capital budgeting there are various methods or techniques of evaluating the profitability of capital investment proposals these methods are broadly divided into two first traditional methods second discounted methods or time adjusted methods or these are called the modern methods of capital budgeting in traditional methods there are two methods number 1 pay back period method or it is called pay off method number 2 average rate of return or accounting rate of return method or it is shortly called arr method discounted methods or time adjusted methods are three number 1 net present value method or it is shortly called npv method number 2 profitability index method or it is called benefit cost ratio shortly it is called pi method number 3 internal rate of return method or it is shortly called irr method let's explain the traditional methods first first method to be discussed is pay back period method or it is called pay off method under this method the pay back period of a capital asset is calculated first the pay back period refers to the period in which the initial investment made in the capital asset pays itself back in case of evaluation of two or more investment proposals they are ranked according to the length of their payback periods the decision criteria or the decision rule to accept or reject a project under this method is that the investment proposal having a shorter payback period is accepted whereas the proposal having a longer payback period is rejected that means accept the project if the payback period of the project is shorter and reject the project if its payback period is longer now calculation of payback period payback period of a project is calculated under two situations first situation 1 situation 1 deals with when the project generates equal annual cash inflows equal annual cash inflows means when a project yields a particular amount every year during its life span it is called equal annual cash inflows for example if a project generates 2000 per year as its cash inflow then it is called equal annual cash inflow under this situation payback period of a project is calculated by the formula given payback period is equal to initial investment divided by annual cash inflows that means when initial investment of a project is divided by its annual cash inflow it is the payback period now an example a project requires an initial investment of rupees 120000 and yields annual cash inflow of rupees 12000 for 12 years find the payback period of the project in this question what is the initial investment amount that is given that is rupees 120000 and what is the annual cash inflow the project will generate every year for 12 years 
that is rupees 12000 now the payback period is to be calculated under the situation 1 because the payback period is to be calculated under situation 1 tells that the project generates an equal cash inflow per year here in this question the project generates an equal cash inflow per year that is 12000 now the payback period is to be calculated by applying the formula that is given initial investment divided by annual cash inflows initial investment is rupees 120000 divided by annual cash inflow is rupees 12000 it is coming 10 years therefore the payback period of the project calculated is 10 years now situation 2 situation 2 deals with when the project generates unequal annual cash inflows unequal annual cash inflows means when the project generates different amounts every year under this situation payback period of a project is calculated by calculating the cumulative cash inflows and then by interpolation that means under this particular situation first we have to calculate the cumulative cash inflows and then by interpolation the payback period is to be decided or determined what is interpolation interpolation is a statistical method by which the related known values are used to estimate an unknown value for example this is the example 2 based on the situation 2 a project requires an initial investment of rupees 2 lakh and yields the annual cash inflows for 5 years are rupees 60,000, rupees 80,000, rupees 50,000, rupees 40,000 and rupees 40,000 respectively. Find the payback period of the project. To calculate under this situation, the payback period, we have to prepare a statement first and this statement will contain three columns. Column 1 represents year which is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Second column represents annual cash inflows. The annual cash inflows given for the first year is 60,000, for the second year it is 80,000, for third year it is 50,000, for fourth year it is 40,000 and in fifth year it is also 40,000. In this way we have year column first then annual cash inflows column and the third column represents the cumulative cash inflows. What is cumulative cash inflow? When we are going to add each and every year's annual cash inflow, then the resultant figure is called cumulative cash inflows. In first year, the cumulative cash inflow will remain same as its annual cash inflow that is rupees 60,000. For second year, the annual cash inflow is 80,000 and what will be the cumulative cash inflow in this year? That will be 60,000 first year plus sec second year 80,000, the total amount will come to 140,000. That's why the cumulative cash inflow for the second year will be 140,000. For third year, the cumulative cash inflow will be 190,000 because 50,000 of annual cash inflow for this year will be added to 140,000. It is coming 190,000. For fourth year, the cumulative cash inflow similarly will be 230,000 and for fifth year, it will be 270,000. See the statement in detail. First of all, tell me what is the total amount of initial investment made in this project? That is 2 lakh. And 
just go through the third column how much we are recovering maximum of the initial investment amount and in which year that is the maximum amount is being recovered that is 1,90,000 in how many years? In 3 years. Then how much is to be recovered more? Then the left left over amount is only 10,000 because 2 lakh is the initial investment and in 3 years we are going to recover 1,90,000 then the remaining amount of rupees 10,000 is to be recovered in 4th year. Now the payback period is to be calculated by applying the formula 3 years that means 1,90,000 has been recovered in 3 years that is why it, it, it has been taken 3 years plus rupees 10,000 that is the amount to be recovered more that is to be recovered more 10,000 in the year 4 divided by the fourth year annual cash inflow. The fourth year annual cash inflow is rupees 40,000. Now this 10,000 divided by 40,000 will be your 0 0.25 years. Now the exact payback period of the project is 3 years plus 0 0.25 years. It is coming 3.25 years. Now the second method that is average rate of return method or accounting rate of return method or it is shortly called IRR method. This method takes into account the earnings which is net profit after depreciation and taxes over the entire life of the capital asset. Thus under this method the accounting concept of profit is considered rather than the cash inflows. The various projects are ranked in order of their ARR. The decision criteria or rule to accept or reject the project is that the project with the higher ARR is accepted as compared to the one having lower ARR. That means accept the project if it has higher error and reject it if the project has lower error. Now calculation of average rate of return or error. There is a formula to calculate the error of an investment proposal. Error is calculated by applying the formula error is equal to average profit per year divided by average investment into 100. That means when average profit per year is divided by the average investment multiplied by 100, then the resultant figure will be called as ARR or average rate of return. Where the average profit per year, the average profit per year is calculated by applying the formula total profits divided by number of years. And average investment is calculated by applying the formula initial investment minus scrap value whole divided by 2. What is scrap value? Because to calculate the average investment, we have to subtract or deduct the scrap value from the initial investment amount. What is scrap value? Scrap value is the estimated value of an asset which is realized at the end of its lifespan. It is the value of an asset which is left over after complete use of the asset during its life. Scrap value is also known as the residual value or breakup value or salvage value. Now an example based on the error. The question is, a project requires an initial investment of rupees 5 lakh and has a scrap value of rupees 20,000 after 5 years. 
it is expected to yield profits after depreciation and taxes during the 5 years amounting to rupees 40000 rupees 60000 rupees 70000 rupees 50000 and rupees 20000 calculate the error of the project how to calculate the error of the project the solution is here error is to be calculated by applying the formula given that is average profit per year divided by average investment multiplied by 100 where average profit per year is to be calculated by applying the formula total profits divided by number of years total profits will be calculated by adding each and every year's profit that is 40000 plus 60000 plus 70000 plus 50000 plus 20000 it is coming 240000 the total profit is coming after addition of 5 years profit it is 240000 and the number of years is 5 and when 240000 will be divided by 5 the resultant figure is coming rupees 48000 which is your average profit per year after calculation of the average profit per year the average investment is to be calculated for calculation of the average investment the formula to be applied is initial investment minus craft value whole divided by 2 the initial investment of the project in the given case is rupees 5 lakh and the scrap value given is 20000 now 5 lakh minus 20000 whole divided by 2 it is coming 4 lakh 80000 divided divided by 2 it is coming 2 lakh 40000 now 2 lakh 40000 is the average investment calculated for the project now finally the error is to be calculated the average profit per year which has been calculated as rupees 48000 divided by average investment which has been calculated as 2 lakh 40000 multiplied by 100 it is coming 20% now the error of the project calculated is 20 percent now sum up the key points of the lesson there are two traditional methods of evaluating the profitability of capital investment proposals number one payback period method or it is called pay off method and second one is average rate of return method or it is called accounting rate of return method or shortly it is called ARR method. The payback period of a project refers to the period in which the initial investment amount of the project is recovered in full. Under the payback period method, the project having a shorter payback period is accepted while the project having a lower payback period is rejected. ARR is the rate of return which is calculated by taking into account the accounting profit which is net profit after depreciation and after taxes. Under the error method, the project having higher error is accepted while the project having lower error is rejected. Now there are some exercises for you given as homework work out the sums given question number one it is based on the payback period method the first method we have discussed calculate the payback period of the project there are two projects given project one and project two and you are required to calculate the payback period of both the projects the initial investment amount is rupees one lakh for both the projects and the cash inflows of both the projects are given in column 2 and column 3 also suggest which of these two projects is to be accepted and why that means you will have to give your suggestion by comparing the two projects payback period and while suggesting 
your focus should be towards the lower payback period because the project having the lower payback period is to be accepted and the project having the higher payback period is to be rejected. There is another question given that is based on the second method that is the ARR method or average rate of return method. A hotel is considering two mutually exclusive projects. There are two projects given machine A and machine B, the details of which are given like initial cash outlay. Initial cash outlay means the initial investment of the projects that is given for machine 1 70,000 and for machine 2 it is 80,000. The residual value, residual value means the scrap value which is to be realized at the end of 5 years of life for machine A it is 10,000 and for machine B it is 20,000. The net profit after depreciation and taxes are given for 5 years. For year 1, it is 10,000 for machine A and 50,000 for machine B. Year 2, 20,000, 40,000. Year 3, 30,000 and 20,000. Year 4, 40,000 and 30,000. And year 5, 60,000 and 10,000. You are required to calculate the error of the two machines also suggest the management of the hotel as to which of these two machines will be accepted and why. Here you will have to calculate the error for both the projects separately for machine A and machine B separately you are required to calculate the error by applying the formula. After calculation of the error for both the projects you will have to give your suggestion your viewpoint to the management of the hotel as to which project or which machine to be selected and why it is to be selected. Here are some reference books for you along with the lesson held today. You are required to take the reference of these six books given that I suggest for you. Hope you have enjoyed the session today. In the next session, we will discuss the methods of capital budgeting that are discounted methods or time adjusted methods. Thank you.